So, I've done a little bit of uh, modification here. I took bad guy and I tweaked these variables a bit. Now you can just see how I changed those. I think I increased the speed increase. I increased the initial bullet frequency and I increased the frequency rate. Well, decreased, increased, I don't remember which one. <laughs> but anyways, it's a little bit different now. That's the point. I really need to change shoot too. Um, I did minus height minus two. That's not what I want to do. I wanted to do minus height divided by two minus two. Now let's see. Recompile and run it. Ah, ran player of space invaders. All right. Here we go. All right. See now, bullet comes. Bullets come from uh, almost the very top of the player, and that's good. That's what we want. Yeah, that's that's nice. Now, in regular Space Invaders, you have uh, three little barricades that stop bullets from hitting you, but that's a lot of work, and I'm, I don't think we uh, we really need to do that. This game kind of gets the point across. Um, yeah. Oh, and I changed the health. Rather than having a max health of 10, the player now has a max health of four. Makes it a little bit harder. The next thing we have to do is put in win loss detection. Now, here we go. Uh, space invaders. Let's do, let's make a method called check for win. Uh, or public boolean has won. We're just going to return uh, bad guys. That size is equal to zero. So there's no bad guys. And public has lost. I'm going to return. Um, Bad guys. Mm. Okay, here's what we can do for has lost. We're going to go through, and for each bad guy, if the bad guy dot get y, does the bad guy to get y exist? I don't think it does. I'm going to just change that and put in public double get y, return y. And we'll just throw in public double get x, just for the hell of it. It's not too much extra work. We might need it later. So if bad guy to get y is greater than get height, and we're just going to say, uh, we'll return true. And you can also lose by losing all your health. So if get health uh, equals equals zero, or is less than or equal to zero, return true. That's pretty simple. So now we have these two useful methods. Tell us when when we've won and when we've lost. Um, so what we want to do is in paint when we've won 
Um, we're just gonna say. If G dot has oh if has one mm, no here's how we're gonna do it we're gonna make a state public private string state and right now it's gonna be null. Uh, let's make it an int. And make it zero. Public void static final int one equals one. Public static final int lost equals two. Now in our update method what we're going to say is if one, if has one, um, sorry, state equals loss. See, we can't just make that boolean because we need to do stuff like this. And it needs three states. One lost, and nothing has happened yet. Um, so, let's see. If state equals one, I'm going to do g dot draw string. Um, let's see. Get width divided by 2 minus uh, 30 and then get height divided by 2 minus mm, plus 6 now it'll take you a little bit of time to get used to drawing strings because rather than the top left you put the pixel here in the bottom left which is weird. I don't know why they did it that way. But anyways, get width and get height. And now oh, we just need to put in the string. We win. Uh, and else if state equals loss. dot draw string you lose get width divided by two minus thirty get height divided by two plus six mm -hmm. let's see state equals equals one else if that's good. That's good. Uh, and our update, I'm going to do if state equals 1 or state if state equals plain. I'll make a new state. Because we don't want it to keep updating, because that might change whether or not you won or lost. So here's what we do. And public static final and playing equals zero. Okay. We'll just recompile. Oh god. Thirty-three errors. Hmm. <laughs> That's why. We don't need that. All we need to do. Let's recompile. Three errors. I'll oh, play it at get health. Doesn't exist. Public and get health. Sharing a health. Um, 
let's see. Bad guy to get Y. Oh, I see. Space invaders. As one has lost. Bad guys dot get I dot get Y. Compile. And we'll run. Ah, damn. Has lost the method. Compile. Hmm, a lot of errors. Oh. There we go. Let's just try that out. Um, let's just lose real quick. You lose. Perfect. Now we'll see. Ah. Run it again. And this time we gotta win. <laughs> so I gotta beat it. terrible at this game. Sad, really. No! I lost. Again. Oh, test that way. Alright, I'm going to put in a little cheat code. Um... Let's just do player... Shot frequency. I'm gonna put this up to a hundred. That'll make the game a lot easier. Let's see, recompiled, and let's run it. <laughs> and I just about won. Yay, I win. Okay. So that works. Alright. Oh, if you want to use this as a web page, all you do is you go to File, Open, and see it creates these little HTML pages. Just open one of these and save it again. Save as... I'm going to save it as Space Invaders dot html save and now you can view it in your browser and look you've got a space invaders game that you could upload to the web isn't that nice alright thanks for your time I'm gonna put a link in the description that tells you where to find all of the files involved with this project and ah, I hope you join me uh, in my next video. Thanks. See you later.